disgusting to me sometimes that we look at people and we judge them. We pass judgment on them. We have issues with them. We have problems with them. And yet so many times, yeah, they have issues and they have problems. But in God's eyes, they're more worthy than we are. Because, yeah, we look all godly. We have a nice religious-looking life. We pray. We fast. We talk to God. We go to church. We're faithful. We've got all this junk on the inside. You know what? Jesus looks at the heart. God looks at the heart. He looks at your heart. And you know, so many of us, we sinners use that all, all the time as an excuse. They say, well, God sees my heart. Yeah, you know what? Your heart is nasty. Your heart is gross. In fact, the Bible says this. The Bible says that the heart above all things is sinful and it is wicked. You leave life by your heart, your heart's going to put you in hell. All right. Literally, your heart is going to take you to hell. Yeah, live by your heart. See where it takes you. You'll be a broken, messed up dude burning for the rest of eternity in hell. Yeah, follow by your heart. Or follow this. Amen. Follow this. Be led by this. I'm going to say this real quickly because I've taken too much time already. But I'm going to say this really quickly. Write this down. I want you to write down the book of Joshua. I want you to read chapters 1 and chapter 2. God and chapter 3. But specifically chapter 1. God is going to take you into a promised land. As we're moving forward, as we're building this new building and doing all of that, we're doing this not just to affect a group of people, not just so we can have a bigger church, not just so we can feel better about ourselves, but we're doing this for the kingdom of God. We're doing this because there's a war going on and souls are hanging in the balance. Yes. We're doing this because there's a nation called America that needs brought back to God. Amen. And you're a part of that warfare. You're a part of that. And you're the person that God is calling right now to draw people to Him. And the only way that we can do it is by drawing to Him. And to do that, there's several things that God wants us to conquer. When the children of Israel went in the land, I'm going to say this very quickly so you need to write this down. Get your pen, get your paper, get it ready. Or get the tape. Are we recording this this morning? Get the tape. Or the CD, yeah, old school. Get the CD. Um, they went into the promised land. They conquered several different things. They conquered several different people. There were giants in the land, if you remember. They went in the land. When they first went in the land, they said, man, there's giants here. God wanted, wanted them to conquer the giants and kill the giants. In your life, as we progress as a corporate body and as you progress individually, there's going to be giants that you're going to face. Some of you, in fact, most of you, are facing giants right now in your life. The problems in your personal life, there may be problems in your marriage, there may be problems at home, in your family, in your finances, whatever, but they are giants. The great thing about a giant, a giant's big, it's bad, but it can be killed. I know that's right. Amen. Amen. It can be killed. Hallelujah. And God says that he's going to anoint you to kill that giant. In other words, you need to recognize that the anger problem your husband has, wife, or the issue that your children have, husband, whatever it is, you need to recognize that's not just an issue, that's a demon spirit. Yeah, it's a right. giant, and yeah, it has to be right. controlled, yeah, it has right. to be condemned, yeah, it has to be defeated. Yeah, it's right. not something that you can cope with any longer. Yeah, You're not going to defeat it by yelling at your kid. You're not going to defeat yeah, it right. by making a mess with your husband or your yeah, wife. Right. You're going to defeat it by operating in the spirit of God, yeah, by amen. using the word of God, yeah, and by right. speaking faith into your own life. Yeah, yeah, right. I didn't I didn't defeat the giants that were in my own life by simply trying to deal with them. I had to use the word of God. So these were the giants that they fought. These were the people that they fought. Number one, they fought the Hittites. The name Hittites, listen to me, it means sons of terror. That name is, is um, I guess, translated, you could say, as torments, phobias, terror, depression, and deceit. In other words, you're going to have to battle with the spirit of fear. Anytime you do something for the kingdom of God, fear is going to grip up and it's going to grab you and it's going to try to hold you. But the Bible says in 2 Timothy 1.7 that God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, watch me, of power, power to overcome, of love, to love the people that have hurt you and to love yourself as Christ loves you. Watch me. To love yourself as Christ loves you. Amen. Glory to God. And a sound mind. Why? So that you can think in the 